folks, here we are again, another session of victory and glory, Napoleon. Uh, had some good battles in the past few sessions. Uh, some big battles on land. Uh, Napoleon moved from Bavaria into Vienna. He is now holding this position. He's been there. Uh, I think he has to go this turn uh, in possession of it, as well as Venice down here in the south, uh, to knock Austria out of the conflict. So we'll see if he can do that. Uh, he's located right here. He's got a pretty decent army. Uh, squaring off against him over here in Hungary is Ferdinand. He's a very lesser quality commander. His army is on par with Napoleon's in terms of numbers, but the quality is definitely not comparable. Uh, to the west, we have an army of Austrians here, and they have no commander. They cannot move. There's no general here. So they're not a major threat at the moment. Opposing them in the south in Venice, of course, is Messina, and he has an army of equal number, 10 in this case, to these Austrians to the north. Uh, definitely better quality, and he's going to remain here in Venice and hold that position as well. There's no threats to the south uh, or immediately to the east either for him, so he's in a good position. So we're going to hold these positions <clears throat> and hopefully knock Austria out of the war this turn. Of course, my defenses in France. What's this? Yes, the Bavarians. Uh, they had, were defeated earlier. Were kicked out of Bavaria. Austrian or the? Can't remember who it was. It was the Prussians. I am at war with the Prussians, by the way. They did make their move. They were enticed, swayed by the British to take offense to us, and they did. Uh, so I am at war with Prussia, Great Britain, Austria, and Russia currently. And I'll look at the diplomacy screen in a moment here. Uh, Napoleon's left is been, has been being protected by Davout, uh, who has an army of 10 units here in Westphalia and in Germany. And his whole my whole plan with him was basically to prepare to take on the Prussians if they made any moves, which they did sooner than I expected. In fact, the British even landed their troops here. As you can see, Wellington himself uh, is involved leading this British army, uh, sizable, 16. Again, the quality isn't the greatest. Difficulty of this campaign, by the way, if you missed the first episode or missed it, is general. So it's about the normal level. It's not too easy and it's certainly not too difficult. But we will see. I'll probably get trounced in the end anyway, but that's to be seen. So Davu is still in Westphalia. He's holding his position. I believe he did engage some Prussians earlier and drove them back. As you can see, we do have some Prussian armies deployed here. Uh, let's see, we got this one, Brunswick, and uh, it's in Berlin. So there is some Russians here on the border. We're going to have to probably face off against, but nothing sizable. There's an army of three here, no commander, army of one. They're basically defensive holding. Uh, and a duchy of uh, Warsaw. We have some Prussian troops. The Russians, of course, they were defeated earlier as well in a battle. I believe I fought the Russians. I'll have to go back on that. I, I believe we did. Um, I'm positive we did, in fact. Anyway, uh, there is an army of eight here. These are the strongest Russian forces. Yeah, Kutusov was killed, in fact, now that I remember. Uh, anyway, we've got some Russians here, an army of eight. Nothing sizable. Four back here. No general. No general. And you can see where they have a larger army here in Moscow. And they're probably going to be heading east as well. What's going on here? Yeah. Defensive troops. No generals can't move. So that's the situation there so far. Let's look at the diplomacy at the moment. You can see I'm at war with Austria, Prussia, Russia. Spain is still eight. Three more turns, they will remain friendly neutral. That's good for me. I don't want to get things complicated with a mess in Spain. Regions, Germany is still at three. Italy is at seven. So that's the situation there. Quick look at the victory points. Be interesting. I have 50 so far. Great Britain has 116. I've won three major battles. And it looks like I lost one. British won one. Regions control, I have 17. And these these will boost my points here. Uh, if the game goes the limit in turns, uh, 
victory will be determined by these victory points. That's why they're relatively important. Uh, what else we got to look at down here? Armies. This gives you the number of armies, generals, infantry, artillery, and so on and so forth. You can see the French have quite a few. Uh, fleets, on the other hand, 19 plus 6 allied squadrons for the English or the British. And I only have 11, which isn't too shoddy. You have eight naval transport factors. That's how many land units I could transport over sea. You have five leader activations remaining currently in the turn. So that's just a little summary of what's going on so far. Let's get our focus back on the map here. Uh, again, Spain, neutral. British are still in Gibraltar. Barbary Coast, I have a fleet of four squadrons, mostly Spanish. I did want to get them back here to the north and on the coast of France, but I did not do so. They were caught. Lost a substantial number of ships and withdrew into a port in Spain. Let's check out my cards, the all important cards. Let's a quick look. Some of them, nothing new, except for this one that I've never seen before. I looked at it in a previous episode. Uh, something to work on. I do want to make use of this card soon the Kingdom of Northern Italy. I haven't been able to do so because the Austrians have been pushing down there, so I've been consolidating my troops. I have to have troops in Piedmont, Milan, Venice, and the Papal States, Papal States, and I'll gain some Italian units. Um, it reduces Austria down four. So I, if Austria goes neutral by me defeating them, ah, this card won't be so useful to me because it will drop them again. They'll end up going to war against me. Uh, maybe that's not so bad. I don't know because... I could defeat him again, I'm sure. I'd hope. Let's see, we got any other page. Heavy cavalry can convert some lights to heavies, which is useful. Uh, this card will be useful in some important battles. Bribe a nation is interesting. And over a minor nation I control. It's in blue, minor nation. And it'll increase our dipl diplomatic rating with that major nation by four points. That would be pretty cool. I'd never tried that on a nation I'm at war with. I think you'd think that would take me out of war with them, and maybe it would. I don't know. I've never tried that. If you guys know, yeah, leave it in the comments if it could work that way. I'm sure I'll find out one way or the other, but it's interesting. It does boost their diplomatic rating with that bribe nation by four. So if they're zero and I'm at war with them and it takes them to four, would that end the war with them? I imagine it would. Uh, I'm not too concerned with that because I actually want to defeat the Austrians. Let me look at that again. It gives me diplomatic increases by four. Okay. Now, if I defeat Austria, I'll gain four diplomatic points, which I can use anywhere. So that's interesting. All in all, I'm not seeing the British be as aggressive as they usually are. Maybe it's because I'm not uh, converting these, some of these nations uh, to the French Empire with cards. I do have cards for that. Like I could do it here in Westphalia if I want. But by doing so, it gives diplomatic points to the British. Uh, right here, basically, using this card gives, you great, gives Great Britain two political points, which they can use. Uh, really, they can't do much, I don't think. I'm already at war with everybody. They're not going to do any more swing. Uh, they could, actually. I will do it. Just the heck of it. I'm going to convert Westphalia. There. Boom. Now it's blue. It's part of the French Empire. It's not French, but it's part of the French Empire. And that'll give me some points. Victory points, I believe. Let me see here. Uh, let's go back here. So my regions controlled went to 18, and my points went up 5 uh, for doing that. I believe it was 50. So now it's 55, and that was all because I added a region. So, okay. That's okay. <clears throat> but it did give the British two points to work with, political points or something, whatever they're called. Anyway, let's get to the action here. Uh, we do have this November, December, 1805. Now, this is the last turn where I could move normally because winter is coming up and armies would go into winter quarters. 
at that time. They wouldn't move around too much. You, know, you suffer attrition. At least there's a chance to suffer losses in your armies if you try and move during the winter January-February turn. Actually, I believe the next turn is December-January, I think. But anyway, that is what's coming. And in the turn after that winter quarters turn, uh, where you can suffer losses from moving, there is a spring recruitment turn where I can get troops in Paris. And they'll show up over here. And yeah, that's that. So let's go to the next turn, I believe. No, I have five. This is just beginning here. Uh, Bride Major Nation... No, Kingdom of Italy. All right, well, basically, I just want to hold on to these positions. I could get aggressive here and attack the British, but I don't want to do that. I could, and I could probably defeat him as well. Then you'd have to spend more resources to rebuild this army or get out. Or I could do likewise over here in Berlin. Uh, but Davu's in a good position at the moment with 10. I don't want to push it too much, but I will... Let's see, withdraw him into here, but that's Holland, and he's going to join up with these guys. So I can have a little bit bigger army with some regular troops, French, and we'll be happy with that. I don't really have nothing down here. He's in reserve, just sitting back, being chill. Uh, some of the British come landing in there. Not sure where he came from. He has to land from a, in, in a port area. There's no port area here. He must have came from Denmark, uh, which is neutral. Yes, incorrect move. Okay, we're going to remain defensive at the moment. And we're going to go to the next turn because I really have nothing else that I can do. Because I want to hold my position. All right. Unfortunately, I just don't have the resources, the troops, to do much. We're going to click the next turn, and I get a card. New general merges is very, merges is very useful. I get another general. Uh, recruit minor nation troops in occupied province of a major nation. Recruit two infantry units from those available in Madrid, Spain, Tyrol, or Lyria, Austria, if French troops are already there. Uh, that's not as useful as this one. At least at this point. Enemy approaches. Let's see. Ferdinand IV contains 9 infantry, 3 cavalry, and 2 artillery units. Austrians. And he's coming into the area with Napoleon. And we will definitely hold on. So we've got a battle. Major battle. Right off the get-go. And he has to deploy first. I have the better initiative. Uh... And again, that's not fixed. It, it, I just have an advantage to getting him to deploy first. Because I'm higher rated. So let's see here. He's kind of weak here. Doesn't have a very good reserve. Uh, not strong here. He's not strong anywhere except his concentration of artillery and cavalry. The strong ones are on the left. So I assume he's going to make an attack here. I would think. And I think if I put my strength here, I'd be able to beat him. And, well, I'd be able to beat his attack and also be able to overcome this position and attack it itself. If you get what I mean. Let's try that. Instead of going after his weakest point, let's go after his somewhat weakest point. That way we can accomplish two things at once. But I will put the heavy cannon over here. I want to do it over here because that's his weakest. Uh, I'm do something different here. I'm going to put this cannon here to keep a constant rate of fire and still be able to move my artillery forward. And I'll put some infantry and I'm going to put this cavalry unit, which is pretty heavy, over here as well because this is going to be a direct attack. I'm not going to hold back, but I will hold back the five. Uh, these are medium cav, I believe. They are light cav. Okay. I'd like to keep at least one in reserve. So I'm going to take these guys and put them in here. I'm going to put some infantry in there to get that combined arms going. And these guys won't have artillery, but I'm not worried about that. He doesn't have much to attack with. And we're just going to hold this position. I don't really have a whole lot here. 
throw a guard unit in, but then they'd be attacked. Well, I'm not worried. It's no artillery. All right, we'll do that. We'll put the guard unit in there just to lengthen our line. We are somewhat outnumbered here. I believe, or are we? Um, no, we're not. We're about the same. All right, let's do this. We're good. I'm not going to play a battle card. Let's fight. I have initiative. Okay, we're going to attack right away on this flank. First of all, let's use our heavy artillery against his heavy artillery. Nothing. I will advance forward with the cavalry. I want to throw these guys... I'm going to go up against his cavalry. It's plus one. Minus two. I'm going to go against his cav. And we disordered them. I'm going to move up the infantry. And I wanted some more infantry from reserve to move in here. But I'm going to put the artillery forward. All right, that gives me a better defense than being all by myself. I could shift infantry from here. Do that. This guy's a light fly with the guns. Try and take out his lighter cannon. Eliminated. That was good. We'll hold back with the cavalry. Uh, these guys will hold back defensively. Let's see what he does. All right, there he's moving forward. I'm not gonna put up with that. Find square. Next turn, I'll blast him with my guns. Oh, got eliminated. Even better. That's the initiative. And here he comes again in the center. Apply for that. I could throw up some cavalry and immediately attack them. I'm not worried. What's it's the end? So he's got six activations. It's all up to him now. In action here. Formed up in square. Good. Oh, blasting me with his cannon. Eliminated the unit. So the computer uses that tactic too, folks. Dastardly Austrians. Ooh, that is not good. That's where he wanted to focus his attack, I'm sure. All right, next round. Let's fight it. It's going to recover disordered units. They'll make an attempt to do so anyway. And I have initiative for the first turn. Well, this was a bad turn of events here. I've got to move up and protect that. Or withdraw. I'm going to... All right, that didn't do anything. Let's move up the infantry. God, I don't want to commit another guard unit. Uh, well, darn. Nothing. Oh, it's not good. I'm not happy with this. All right, in the meantime, right here, let's take out his cav. No, now we're going to respond with the artillery. Let's see, plus five, plus four. Let's go against his infantry. Disordered. Uh, nothing major helping here. Got a lot of troops tied up over here. I don't like that. So I think I'm going to shift this unit to here. Since he seems to be intent on attacking here. Uh, this, what am I going to do here? Can move up another cavalry, put in some guard. Let's do that. I'll put the guard there. And oh boy. I do want to push on this side, so let's go for it. If I move him up here, he's just gonna be subjected to an attack. So I'm gonna leave him back here. He still has one action. Alright, pass the initiative. Pass it again. Here he comes here. Let's reply to that. Disorder. I got disordered too. Pass the initiative. Hmm. Oh, no, I can't do anything. I wasn't paying attention. I have zero friendly activations. That's what happens when you pass. Eh. Hmm. All right, let's fight the next round. Let's see who recovers and who has initiative. Okay, we have initiative. Let's see where we want to go with this. These 
pushing all along the line here. At least in the middle. And over here, he's giving me a hard time. I don't like it. So let's try and move. Well, let's start with the artillery. I'm wasting my time going against his guns. I can't effectively do anything. Let's move this five up and attack his cannon with them. Nothing. What is going on here? All right, I'm going to try and take his cav. Routed. All right, that's one beneficial point. Move the guard unit up to help with the defense. Still have reserve. I don't want to use this guy. Protects Napoleon. Uh, let's go to the center. I should attack my cavalry first. Put them in square. Let's try that. was good. And shoot here. Eliminated. Ah. We're on the verge of breaking through here. If I have cavalry, I got some lights. I could take a shot at winning this battle right here. He gets two actions and he'll use a second to attack. Let's, let's see. Got him. So there it is. Victory in the center. The battle is won. Now we pursue. It's a good use of cavalry in reserve. Opportunities like that. He has no cavalry to protect his retreat. I have three to go on pursuit. Let's see what damage I can do. One hit. Nothing major. Uh, he got a unit promoted to a two. I got one to a three. That's good. Some veterans. I like how the game does that. All right, so those are the losses. Nothing major on my side. The Austrians took some important critical losses to the army. So that was their last ditch attempt to try and hold Vienna and keep themselves in the conflict. Minor nation joins the empire. That card has been drawn. Two political points were used, of course. He's trying to sway the Germans. We'll take a look at the diplomacy in a minute here. Enemy approaches. Wellington is attacking Davu. So let's defend this position. We've got another big battle. And somewhere in Holland. In this simple... In the simple land battle system, the allied player, AI, always sets up first. In the advanced system, there's a calculation made which involves the number of cavalry on each side, the rating of each commander, and a certain amount of random chance. If the AI loses, it will deploy automatically at the beginning of the battle. If the AI wins, then the French player must deploy first. When this happens, you should deploy your units to the friendly front line areas as you see fit. When you are satisfied, just click on Fight Next Round button as you normally would. The AI will then deploy and the first round of battle will start. And there's a little reminder for us. Okay. Deploy your units. I have to deploy first. Okay, let's do this. This is a big battle. Let's get our infantry sorted. Let's put the weaker infantry forward. Simulating the first wave. I don't know where he's going. He's got some light cannon. Nothing major to really be afraid of. Uh, I have no heavy guns either. No heavy cav. My best is these mediums. Dragoons. Uh, hmm. So let's kind of spread ourselves somewhat equally, keeping a strength maybe on the left. And I'll throw the guns over there. And lesser... Mm, I don't know. Lights. Let's keep them. Well, you know what? Let's keep our heavier cab in reserve. Uh, I like to keep lights in reserve for pursuit purposes, but I really don't have a whole lot going on. I'll keep my heavy, my mediums in reserve and some infantry in reserve, and we'll keep it like this. This will be an interesting battle. So he's pretty even across the board as well. You expected? Wellington. Hmm. First clash with Wellington, so this is an important battle. Let's meet him with our Bavarians. Ah, they get disordered. Follow up. He's trying to drain my defenses here, but it was worth it. 
I'm gonna keep him fresh. Um, I can't do anything else anywhere else. Hit with their artillery against this calf. Disorder them. When you're disordered, you cannot move. So keep that in mind when you're playing. I could follow up now and get aggressive here. Attack his cavalry. Move my infantry up. I'm gonna do that. Let's have some fun. My second move is against his cav. I have an advantage, but it didn't pay off. Move up the infantry to support. Next turn, we'll be able to engage the enemy. Not too afraid. Uh, that's it. All right, now, don't want to do anything in the middle. Uh, do have this. I'm going to keep him fresh. All right, let's see. I have five activations left. Now I will attack. Then it is worth it. Uh, I can still shift troops from here as well to this area if I wanted something to pay attention to. All right, past the initiative, I still have three activations. Two activations. Oop. He's got four activations left. He can't attack with these. Uh, but I have two. I think I will respond to this little attack. Let's see. He's, he can still attack here. Darn it. Oh, this cavalry's attacking over here on my right. The variants went in the square, thankfully, but they're disordered. So I think cavalry is attacking on my left. Oh, he eliminated one of my units. Two. That's not good. Didn't expect that either. Hmm. Must have troops hiding behind some ledges. All right. Fight the next round. Let's see who has initiative. Units are recovering. Dastardly British. Looks like he has initiative. Oh. Alright. Very concerned for my right. Uh, I want to use my cannon, but I want to move it up for defense purposes and get that combined arms bonus. There's too many enemy to deal with here. So I'll do that. And we'll follow up against his cavalry. Keep him distracted. And yeah, we're gonna... Good problem. His response is on my right. Oh, he really wants to push there, doesn't he? Uh, let's see. Against his cav, it's negative four. Average attack against his English regulars. Who are these? They're Swedes. Hmm. I better odds against them. Hmm. Confusion going on there, but it's disordered. Alright, so there's plenty of places I could throw my reserve in. It's looking pretty desperate. He's got some good troops in the center. Uh, I kind of want to move in my cavalry. Love to take out his guns. Eliminated. There we go. I'm gonna protect my infantry over here that are in square and vulnerable as such. The artillery, as well as infantry. But uh, those close range artillery is nasty. So this is done over here. This over here. Hmm. Stuck in square. Yeah, I'm very concerned about this position. So let's move up the extra fresh unit. My reserves are spent. But before we go, let's see what we can do in the center. Oh, eliminated. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Not good, and he's got me pinned. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, this is pretty fun. I don't think I'll do well against this cav. Let's go for the infantry. Uh-oh, I think Davu is in trouble. It's not looking good, folks. I've got nothing to protect my left flank. Reserves are spent. These guys cannot shift. Because uh, the enemy's kind of pinning them to the front. Uh, 
Not sure what I can do here. This isn't a big threat. I could pull a... Well, they're disordered. I can't pull anybody out of the line. I was thinking these guys come back I'm up here. Let's see our routed units. I have one routed unit. He can route at the end of the turn. All right, let's just shoot here and see what happens. Totally ineffective, I'm sure. All right, end of the turn. The eliminated units are removed. And uh, let's see... Before we go to the next round, I can attempt to rally him with Davu. His rating will drop two points. It'll put me under Wellington, but I need the men. They failed. I have a second opportunity to do so. Should I take it? Well, I'm going to be at a disadvantage anyway. I need these troops. Let's try it. Got him. Now, when I fight the next round, I'll be able to pull him out of reserve, fresh and ready to go, and we'll fill him where we're needed, probably here on my left, because it's almost fallen apart. Fight the next round. Here we go. He's going to get initiative, I'm sure. I'm dropped to six this turn. Oh, I have initiative. All right, I can shift him forward. What do you think, folks? Not too afraid here. This is precarious with two disordered units, uh, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to lose here. But this, I could lose. It could happen, and then the battle will be over and I have to withdraw. So we're going to move some infantry up to prevent that. Oh. All right, now I have an initiative here. As long as there's cavalry adjacent to me, to my front, I can't come out of square. This guy's stuck, so he doesn't shoot as effective and so on and so forth. Uh, effectively pinned. I think I better do something with this guy. I could pull him back. He'll benefit from the infantry with the combined arms. Won't be much. But uh, they can't move. Well, I'm not going to do much here, I don't think. He has a reserve to fill in. It's just going to be a waste. I'm going to pull back. I still have one more with him. But here, I'm actually in a position to shift him here. But I don't want to do that. I need my troops over there. I'm going to try and take out his disordered cavalry. Routed. That's good. That'll slow his attack here in the center, which is good. I uh, wish I had fresh troops here. Might want to keep them fresh. I don't know. Or take a chance. Let's see what my chances are here. Minus eight against them. Minus three against the Swedish troops. Minus three. <sighs> hmm. Ah, wasn't worth it. All right, we got to pass. All right, here he comes back on my left. Eliminated. Oh, no. He's disordered for it. Hold in there. I'm thinking about retreating. No cavalry to cover my withdrawal except this one. And he had... No, I got two cavalry. I actually would probably escape quite well. He's got two lights. Uh, he's got... Well, he's got a third one here, mediums. He does have an advantage. I'd probably take a loss of a unit or something if I try and retreat. But I've already lost these two completely. I'm not sure I could win this battle. I'm not sure it's in the cards. Put him in square, which did me no good whatsoever. I'm kind of disheartened at this point. All right, end of the turn, cleaning up. Fight the next round. It's a tight one, folks. Davu, come on, Davu. You've got to do this. All right, let's fire here while he's in square. Eliminated. That was good news. That was good news. Hold this position. Oh, they got a hold too. Uh, this is not good. I can't shift men over. I have nothing from reserves. This guy is holding all by himself. He's in square. He's very vulnerable to these British infantry uh, musketry fire. And there's really nothing I can do. This is just a horrible situation to be in. 
unless I think offensively and try and break him before he breaks me. And there's not much chance of that. I'm eliminated him anyway. Let's follow that up. Eliminated. All right, there's a good turn of events. I can actually move up from here now. But everything's done. Uh, let's see, he's got two. Or did he move already? If he moves, if he has two, he can move here and then here. Uh, this guy would be alone against one cav. He's not going to be able to attack this turn. Uh, but these guys are still eligible to attack. They could win this turn. If I could get another unit over here, that would be great. And it would be this one. One, two. I could try that. <laughs> I don't know what would happen. But I'm going to do that just for fun. I, I assume he has two left. There's no way to tell on here. Because I did move him back. I think that was the previous turn. Let's try it. Alright, good. I can still move him. I'm going to do that. Eliminated. So it was a good idea to do that. It saved me. That move saved me. Maybe. I lose this flank now. What a battle. This is terrible. Dafu! Alright, next turn, let's fight it. Cover some units. Oh, this is terrible. I should retreat. I have two cavalry units to cover my retreat. He has one, two, three units to pursue. I'd probably lose. I could lose the whole army. I could lose Davu in a pursuit, so it's not worth it. We're going to fight this and try and get him to withdraw from the battle. You never know. Let's see, I could shift cavalry over here. If I could take him out, he'll come out of square, which I need to happen. So I'm going to do that. I can move him here. Then I'm going to attack. Try and take out his cav. Disorder, they're still there. Darn it. All right, let's attack him while we can. He could follow up with the cavalry. Oh, disordered. Nope. Mm, no. No. He's not going to do it. I held. Left flank. All right, all right, all right. They're only routed. I can rally them again. Uh, he can't attack over here anymore. I'm going to go after his disordered infantry, I think. Let's see. Minus one. Minus one. Minus five. So we're going to go after his infantry. I don't know why I did that. I should have went after the calf. I eliminated him. All right, that's good. I'll take that. Guys in square. Well, let's see if I can eliminate them. Come on. Eliminated. Now he'll come out of square. As long as there's no cavalry in front of him, he'll come out of that square. All right, let's try and rally him. Excellent. And we'll fight the next round. There we go. Boom, out of square. So that was an effective attack that I, I made there, taking out his cavalry so they come out of square. Now they're a bit more formidable. I got two infantry in front of them. I got the same situation here, except it's a cavalry and infantry. Some Swedish troops, I believe. And over here, it's probably his greatest threat, only because it's a three cav. It's his heavy cav. I could lose anywhere. Now, if I could focus everything in one attack somewhere and wipe him out, like right here would be ideal. Uh, I got this in the bag. All right, let's try here. Take out his infantry. I don't... Mm, nothing. Okay. I was hoping to take him out. That way this guy would have to move, and he can't attack this turn. But now he still has an attack here. Could win. We'll do the same thing here. Sorry, but anyway, he's attacking strong on my right. He was repulsed. That's good. Now we will attack his cavalry and see what we get with this. Oh, I give up the cavalry in reserve. I forgot them. Oh, I could lose it right here. All right, good. We held, and I still have a reserve of medium cav. I could throw them in. I think I have to get kind of aggressive here because I can't win this situation defense. I could actually. 
but if I can attack here and win here, I can win the game immediately. But I have cavalry, and they can only attack one. His reserve is gone. I don't know. It could go. It could go anywhere. So. I don't know. Where am I going to throw these cavalry? Maybe nowhere. I, I have to put them somewhere. I'm not afraid of losing this. This here, mm, I'll take the risk. He's got cavalry who can attack this turn. Over here, he can't attack. There's no attacks. So I'm going to throw them here just to get the attack. I'll use my medium cav against his. Yeah. Disordered. All right, that helps. Fighting the next round. Here we go. Initiative. Darn it. Initiative goes to me. Okay. Uh, I like this situation here. I want to do something quickly. Uh, oh, nothing. The counters. Eliminates. Uh oh. Disordered. Well, I don't have much choice here. Well, I had an advantage there. It didn't help. Okay. I'll reply to that. That's good. Attack the Sw Swedes. Eliminate. That's good. That is excellent. And then we're going to have to... Maybe he'll withdraw. <laughs> Fight the next round. Let's go. He's still disordered here. Good. Uh, oh boy. Well, I can't move anything from here. They have to stay. So my only hope is right here. I'll hit his cab while they're disordered. Routed. Excellent. He could rally them. I mean, he has the command points to do it. Uh, this finishes me. Let's hope they hold out. I'm not going to do anything here. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do anything. No, actually, go ahead, go for it, because he can't rip, well, <laughs> he could shoot back. They can't move. I don't know if I should have done that. No, I shouldn't have done it. I should have sat back and let the cavalry over here just fight. So, Disordered can't move. All right, so, neither one of us can do anything. So, that's... It reminder battle Jesus. Yeah, okay. Uh here we go. He retreated. He withdrew from the battle. Well, I held on to the end. Your army managed a narrow victory at the Battle of Eden. The enemy army withdrew in disarray. Even small steps are evidence of progress. He lost two artillery, some cav, and he lost all these infantry. I lost let's see, five is it five French or four? Five French units, two Bavarian. Uh, German allies, and cavalry and artillery. I took a lot of losses. Pretty much matched his losses, except he lost an extra battery. I don't like seeing the French get wiped out. But I actually don't like to see the allies get wiped out either, because that usually affects, that has a chance of affecting their diplomatic rating. I believe the Germany was three. Well, now there's a chance it'll drop. For each unit you lose, it's allied in a battle. We needed that victory, and that was bloody. We'll finish up this turn and see what happens, how they reply. November, December, 1805. Russians on the move. Consolidating some troops. Still holding out against France. So no, I haven't uh, taken them. New French turn, January, February. Now this is the turn where winter attrition kicks in if you move. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Let me just move one, or attempt to move one unit. Winter attrition, armies which moving during the January, February turn run the risk of losing units in winter attrition. Are you sure you wanna do this? No, don't wanna do that. The exception is down here next to the Mediterranean. You don't suffer any attrition losses for this move this winter season. So basically, we're going to continue to hold out here as we conclude this session. Uh, Davu, I'm proud of you. You held out against all odds there. You held out against Wellington. 
So that was a good battle, but it drained me. It'll be interesting to see what I do in the next episode because I really don't have resources to reinforce him yet. However, there is in the next turn reinforcements. Paris will see a bunch of new troops, quality troops, not militia or anything like that, that I can disperse amongst my units. And I do have a card for an extra general, which will be very useful for me if I play it in Paris. I can have a new little fresh army and I can reinforce Davu. That's the plan. So reinforcements will be on their way, Davu. He needs it. We do have a war against Prussia to fight, uh, along with these British interfering in the actions in the north. Napoleon will continue to hold. I'll probably, hmm, I'm going to think. He's going to be needed elsewhere soon. I might leave the army with Soult and have Napoleon withdraw to the north against the Prussians. Uh, we shall see, folks. I hope you enjoyed this session. Pretty fun, pretty interesting. I love it. Leave me some comments, like, share, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts in this game. Is it, is it fun? Would you like to see more of this game or more computer games in general, wargaming related? Let me know in the comments. Uh, take care, folks, and remember, hang in there. It's only going to get better.